One room, 400 G's. I don't think I need any healing. No, I'm all good. Because I already heal after every battle anyways. So, I don't really need it at all. So, let's uh, go up here. Ooh, a tower. You climb it? Yep. Oh, that's so cool. There's really nothing up here, though. And Kid is just awkwardly hanging on the ladder. <laughs> Lisa's. There's so many, I can't decide which one. Mom said, you can only have one because you're still a child. Ugh, grown-ups have all the fun. They get to mess with all those elements, and we don't. Yeah. I'm looking for useful element. Even for dragons like us to train daily, element selection is crucial. One selection can either make or break your advantage in battle. That's why it's so hard to choose. Oh. What do you have to say, Mr. Key, about elements? I'm gonna come back here. You're not gonna find anything over here. Well, finally, so you know, you know screw you. <laughs> Yeah, I could find something in your bed. How about that? Just the other day, I went on my usual trip to the Shadow Forest with, to gather wild plants. Believe it or not, I found a rare blue tip mushroom. How about that? Do you envy me? Well, sure, sir. Just a two ear horn or whatever. Because I don't know what, what the mushrooms will do for us. I thought so. I thought so. To begin with, this mushroom only sprouts one day out of the year. Ah, okay, then I'm gonna tell you a big secret. Deep inside the forest, there's a very large tree. This tree has a big hole in it. So it leads to an underground waterway, which is the perfect place for rare mushrooms to grow. Go deep into the waterway, you end up in Master Viper's Manor. Does that surprise you? Master Viper must also gather mushrooms in his spare time. He's truly a great man. Master Viper understands how to appreciate good mushrooms. What a wonderful lord he is. Well, that's a very important tidbit of information. We'll have to remember that. Duh, I should buy something first. Okay, elements. Um, let's see. There are some new things we haven't gotten yet, such as this ice lance. I want to buy that. Uh, just one. Bushwhacker. That is a bizarre name. And very, uh, innuendo sounding too. I'm going to buy one of everything that I haven't gotten yet. Because that's always nice. I think I should buy two of everything. <laughs> Let's not get greedy here. Because I don't even have the space to equip them. Unless I get another party member. Um, let's buy a couple of braces. And antidotes. And ointments. Um, medicine too. Why not? Yeah, I think I'm all good to go. Well, well, so this is that singer Nikki everyone's been talking about. My dear, he looks like a girl. When I was a young girl, it was a luxury for even a girl to have any makeup on. Nowadays, even the boys are becoming glamorous. As long as it's trendy, I might as well join in with the youngsters and show off my go-go dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's go and see this Nikki. Why don't we... Is it him? No, it's Guile. My name is Guile, and I'm having a certain bet with a fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the matter within a week, I shall win. If I cannot, I shall lose. But, as there is a trick behind any mysterious magic, there is no such thing as an impregnable fortress in this world. Toast to my coming victory. <sighs> Ugh. 
Welcome to the Dragon Sailor House Soap and All, but we don't allow any tabs or brawls. Put your feet up and have a grand time. Travels, aren't you? That's okay. I can tell it by the way you look. So what do you think of Termina? This port town just loves travelers. I love this town and all of its people, whether they're residents or travelers. Barkeep, one more order of squid gut pasta. That's strange. More? That's all you eat. Try some of the other dishes, will ya? <laughs> the better tasting it is, the faster I eat it up. If you know what I mean. Jeez, right when we were in the middle of a good conversation. I'm sorry about the sexual in the windows, I, I just can't help it. Ever since Daru died, one of the chairs for the four devas of the Acacia Dragons is vacant. Ooh, Sir Viper is said to be looking for candidates, yet I can't foresee anyone who can match the caliber of the Great, Di great Knight Dario. If only I were a little younger. Don't kid yourself, buddy. I saw Miss Riddell. Visiting the shrines again. She made a darling couple with her childhood sweetheart, Dario. It's a pity that he died so young. They say beautiful women rarely find happiness. How about me? Do I look happy? I guess. Well, I can't really see you because, you know, you're blurry and all that. Unless you're. See me, I'm not beautiful then? What the hell? So if you're not. So if you're happy, then you're ugly. That, that's. That doesn't make any sense. I don't get you. <laughs> this guy thinks that the frozen flame is some kind of jewel or something. I'd say that. I'd say things aren't that easy. It's probably a monster of some sort. Once you gaze at it, boom, you're well done. Like a steak on a barbecue. Well, you're free to drink him, but daily work is always the best. Nothing beats hard work and dedication. How about you? Ugh, I've been fired from my job and I'm really strapped for cash. But. Have you heard about this thing called the Frozen Flame? What's that? What, you haven't heard? Oh well, I was gonna keep it a secret, but I'll make an exception for you. The Frozen Flame is a treasure of treasures. It's the ultimate treasure in this world. It's rumored that the notorious thieves, radical dreamers, are also after it, but that thing is mine. One day, I'll get my hands on it and become the richest man in the universe. That's my Terminian dream. All right. One more toast to my bright future. Well, that's interesting, sir. I'm pretty sure the frozen flame is a very big plot point in this game. Because you can see it like when you read the little preview before you start it up. Master Viper, I'm here to polish your statue again. Oh. Um. Uh, before we go there, no, let's let's do it now. All right, all squeaky clean. It's gotta be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? Termina is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our Master Viper. At times warm, at times strict, Master Viper watches over us always. With that said, of course the real Master Viper resides in his manor, along with his Acacia Dragoons. If you allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It's a magnificent place. If there's a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with just one blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party. But not so for you folks. Well, screw you. The most you'll get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho 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 ho. Wow. Thanks a lot, sir. Alright, that's settled. We gotta sneak into the Viper Manor. We've gotta find out what those Acacia Dragons are up to, right? Why was Kosh trying to capture you? I've got some business there as well, so I'll go with you. How about it, Serge? Okay, let's go. It's the obvious choice, right? According to Grandpa here, this Viper Man is a bloody large place, which means it'd be easy to break into. There's gotta be more than one way in. If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Oh boy, you got that right. You're playing hopscotch. I wanna play hopscotch. Me? No, I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm just too cool to hang with anyone else. 
Oh no. You're growing up in the social. That's horrible. And before you know it, you'll be playing video games all day and all night. And being on the internet. <laughs> and then I saw the six great dragons kill the dark evil and restore the peace of the land. The end. Mama, do dragons really exist? How big are they? Oh, they're pretty damn big, I'll tell you that much. Oh, silly, this is a fairy tale. The old people made it up. But Mama, Korcha says dragons still exist. Are you still playing with that boy? How many times have I told you to stay away from him? Besides, hocus pocus like that that's making gold dove so remote to us on the main island. Where in the world is there such a thing as the dragon tear? I'm sorry, Mama, but Korcha's stories are fun to listen to. The story he told last time about Master Viper's manner was so scary. No buts. Anything that boy says is a flat out lie. Any child that believes such nonsense is not a child of this family. No way. I belong in this family. Cough, cough. There, there. You're not gonna get better if you don't listen to me. Now, if you promise me you won't play with Corcher anymore, I'll tell the next story. Uh, uh huh. I promise. So please, tell me the next story. Yes, yes. What should I read you next? Aw, oh, you're an asshole. How could you... disown your son just because they're hanging with someone that you don't like? That's just not cool. <laughs> I mean... Sure, if they're a weird person, then maybe. But still. Maybe a little more to the left. Just look around. Flowers I great to tell when the festival comes. Oh. Don't you think it's romantic to have the town full of flowers? It's our way of showing our gratitude towards Master Viper. We're really thankful to Master Viper for the, our town's peace. Oh, you silly boy. That's your right, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> My bad. I don't see anyone. Um, I'm wondering, is this Master Viper, like, actually a good person, or is he, like, a douchebag that everyone believes is good? We'll have to find that out soon enough. I'm gonna bet that he's a douchebag, though. Mm-mm, smells delicious. I just can't wait till it's done cooking. Grandma keeps waiting for her grandson to come back. She always tells me stories about him, but we don't know where he is. If I meet him on your travels, please tell him Grandma's waiting for him. I believe his name was Skelly. Skelly, huh? Okay. Yes, who might you be? Grandma there, travel is passing through. My, my, so sorry. My eyes have become really weak in my old age, so I thought that my grandson had come back. My grandson was such a cute boy, he was really plump and cheerful, and loved to make people laugh. That's why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He always said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming, and I haven't heard from him since. I hope it wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his tearful face once more, before the heavens come claim my soul. What if the devil comes to claim your soul? <laughs> I hope not. That's a big lie coming from me, because I'm I have evil thoughts. <laughs> nah. Uh which way should we go? Should we go here or that way? I'll go here first. It might lead to the same place anyways. Is that a minotaur? Or a horseman? Excuse me, sir. Don't ignore me. What's the matter with you? Hey. What a bastard. The control is really wonky, too. Like, when I'm trying to go through doorways, it's, it's a little hard to get in. Let's gaze at the sea all day long, one starts to wonder where the sea ends and where I start. I've tried to live my way, but maybe I've just been drifting along, trapped in the ebb and flow of the ocean's tides. Wouldn't you agree, dear? Mm. How could I forget? She's already returned to the Great Sea. 
Oh, the control is so weird around here, cause like if I'm going directly left, then he goes that like diagonal way. It's just awkward, man. What are you looking at? I'm working here. Get out of my way. You're bothering me. You're not working, you little bitch. What did you just say? Maybe you don't get it, but I'm here to oversee these demi-humans. These guys always slack on the job if you don't watch them carefully, and you keep my eyes peeled. You're a little bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Language. Termina Festival Special Live. Oh, hello, sir. Screw you. Ah. Authorized personnel. My booty. Oh, this place is cool. 